Hi, I'm Mike. I'd like to talk to you about the couple of different ways that we get video and television entertainment uh, on the PC. Um, first of all, I'm using the uh, Lenovo Horizon 27 inch portable all in one. This is battery powered, so no cords, no wires, and it's a beautiful touch screen. Um, it gives me access to everything that I can do in, in Windows 8, complete flexibility to use the uh, traditional desktop and, and browser experiences like Vudu or Amazon Instant Video. I can use touch enabled uh, experiences or touch optimized experiences like uh, here's the, um, the Comedy Central website which has been optimized for touch. This here is the, uh, the Netflix app that, uh, that comes with Windows 8. Lots of other video and entertainment apps uh, uh, available in the Windows 8 uh, store. But what we, uh, what's missing here is uh, access to live TV. Okay, so here in our house, we have a, uh, a networked TV tuner called the HD Home Run Dual from Silicon Dust. And we've set it up on this particular system to access it through the Windows Media Center, which is an add-on to the Windows 8 uh, environment and um, it, uh, it allows me to tap into live TV streams. And it's uh, going to be exiting here over the next hour or so, and the rest of the afternoon should be settling down, down to the mid-50s. And I can access my recorded TV. I can record TV and, and uh, play back recorded TV. Let's try this one. And you'll notice that the quality is over-the-air broadcast full 1080i uh, HD TV. So the quality is excellent, and I can do this, again, wirelessly around the house. Uh, and I'm using my fingers and manipulating this with, with the touch inter interface right now. But by plugging in the remote control for Windows Media Center, and now I will go into my guide and we're in the throes of March Madness so I will set the system to record tonight's game okay so this is all great but it's a little challenging to configure for your typical user uh, what if there were a simpler and, and uh, less expensive solution available for my tablets Okay, so we're, uh, we're looking for a simpler solution for uh, feeding live TV to my tablets. This is new, um, just within the past couple of months since the Consumer Electronics Show. It's the HD Home Run uh, Plus, and um, it's designed to work in conjunction with all sorts of mobile devices, uh, not just full-strength computers like I showed you with the Media Center uh, before. So let's take a look and see what's in the box. Just got this, and we have a network TV tuner, very simple to connect. I have a port for my antenna, I have a port for power, and I have a port for connecting it to my home network. A, uh, a two-step guide for setting it up, and Ethernet cable and the power brick. And it does not include an antenna because um, the, the requirements for the antenna are going to vary based on where you live and how close the nearest stations are. So I, I do have a, an antenna that I will use here. And um, let's go ahead and see uh, how this uh, gets installed and how it works. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, and uh, hook up the, uh, the HD Home Run Plus. I'm here next to my uh, Verizon Fios router, and what I will do is uh, connect the Ethernet cable, which was included with the HD Home Run, into one of the available ports on my router. I will connect the antenna. This is probably the cheapest 
poorest quality antenna that we can get. So we're really going to test the, uh, the quality of the signal um, by using such a, a, a terrible antenna with this. I'm going to connect the antenna into the back of the HD home run. It's always nice to screw these in nice and tight, make sure that the signal's clean. And then I plug in my power. And I can hear it. I don't see any indicator lights. But it is glowing. Uh, the HD in green is glowing on the front, so I know that it's on. Um, now what I'll do is move on to my devices, uh, my tablets, um, configure the software on the tablet side, and, um, and start watching some live HD TV for free over the air from my antenna. Okay, so here we are with uh, my Dell Venue 8 Pro. This has got the latest uh, 3770 uh, Bay Trail uh, Atom processor. Great little device. Love this thing. Um, and what we're going to do is uh, go into the Windows Store. I right, search for the Insta TV Pro app. It's a free app. I'm going to go ahead and install it. And the Insta TV Pro app is designed to enable the, uh, a Windows 8 device to access the HD Home Run Plus across my home network. So it's installing. It's downloading now. Installing, and there we go. Now I'm going to open up the app. And it sees. Uh, two HD Home Run devices on my network. One that was feeding my Windows Media Center before and the other one, the Plus, that's the one that I'm going to go ahead and, and select because that, one's, that one chooses, um, that one provides um, a, a, a transcoded signal that can be decoded by this uh, device. All right, and then it asks me to pick the, the country where I'm located to get the channel logos. I choose next. I'm going to initialize the, um, it's now initializing the, uh, the tuner, detecting channels. Okay, so it's found a couple of channels already. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch the Insta TV Pro app. Um, I put a different antenna on the system so I get better signals on the stations, and I picked up more stations. So now here I've got uh, 28 stations. So I will go ahead and pick one. And here to is the my live TV. I'm going to mute it. Um, no recording. No uh, uh, TV guide. I don't know what's on. Um, I just have the list of the channels. And I can play the TV live. Streamed across my home network. There's my Univision and my major networks. Now you'll notice that the signal, the, the, the TV is, um, is shown in a small screen. You can see at the bottom here that purchase is required for full screen playback. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that now so that we can see how it looks in full screen. Okay, so I um, launched the, uh, the, the upgrade option directly from the gear in the upper right corner here. I've bought the item for $4.99 in the Windows Store and now let's see I was getting a nice clean signal on this channel here so let's see how it looks and if it's full screen. There we go. Okay so even though this show happens to be split screen um, I am getting a full screen experience now. Let me go to a different station. I'll keep it muted. And 
we now see that I'm getting the entire screen filled with HDTV over the air. So one more thing that's worth uh, noting, depending on what sort of internet uh, or, or local area network support you have, you can change how heavily the um, uh, the graphics are encoded and, and, and transcoded for consumption back on the tablet. So I'm going to go ahead and set it for heavy here and go full screen on the local uh, NVC affiliate. And we are seeing a video of YouTube. So uh, definitely, there we go. There's the full screen experience in high quality 1080 HD. Okay, so here we have the uh, the ASUS MimoPad FHD10. This is an Intel-based Android tablet. So I am running the uh, the Android operating system. I'm going to go into the Google Play Store and get the, um, the HD Home Run View app from Silicon Dust. Okay, so I uh, authorized my payment for the $1.99 app for HD uh, Home Run View. It's installing. I will open it now. This is cell phone video of okay, YouTube right and now. Here we are. Karma. A Florida woman pulled out her iPhone and started recording as the i just turn down the volume here. Here we are getting full screen on my local NBC uh, afternoon news affiliate. Um, and uh, again, more, more video of YouTube on TV, which is always kind of funny to see. Um, but uh, great quality signal and um, took a little longer to change channels than I would have liked to have seen. But overall, it's a good experience once I get locked in. And this particular tablet, the ASUS, has just great video and audio. Look at this great signal, nice and loud. So the the um, the processor in the ASUS uh, Mimo Pad FHD10 is uh, not quite as capable as what's in the Dell Venue 8 Pro, um, but uh, let's try to go ahead and put the two of them side by side and see how things work out. So here I have both tablets side by side. Signals are coming through very nice. I have two different channels. Uh, this one's on channel 4, this one's on channel 9. Um, on the same, uh, coming from the same HD home run tuner. So the, uh, the device uh, supports uh, two simultaneous streams of two different channels uh, at, uh, simultaneously. You can see a few little lags on the uh, on the, the, uh, the Android-based tablet, again, the processor in this tablet is not quite as capable as the Baytrail processor in here. Okay, so to recap, I've got uh, one HD Home Run Plus set up on my home network, hooked up to an over-the-air antenna. I'm getting about uh, 28 or 30 stations locally. Uh, for $4.99, I put an app on my Windows 8.1 tablet. For $1.99, I put an app on my, uh, on my Android tablet, and now I have free over-the-air HD TV um, on the devices that I love to carry around with me all around my home. Thanks for watching.